Hi, this is from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got all these packages. Now, two of them came yesterday, and three of them came today, but I didn't have a chance to open them yesterday, so I'm going to do one big unboxing episode. So let's do yesterday unboxing first, then we'll do today unboxing today. Now, these are for not, these are for not the channels. These are my own collection. Oh, you can hear yourself. Okay. okay, I got a Force of One, a Chuck Norris movie from 1979. And I think this was his, his third, I think this was his major breakout movie. He did that Bruce Lee movie in 73. Oh, what was that movie called? A Day of the Dragon. Then he did a movie in 74 called Slaughter of San Francisco. Then he did Breaker Breaker from 77. Then I don't know which one came next. This one are Bad Guys Wear Black. And they will come out the same year. So I don't know if this was this one or, or the other one. <clears throat> he kind of made more films too. This, he did do a film in 1969 called... Uh, it, it was a Dean Martin movie. <laughs> but this one, you got the, the commentaries and the TV stuff. And this has been a good film. The only thing I don't like about it that this film is in full screen. I don't know why they don't, they don't got a widescreen version of this. So what we're going to do, we're going to open it on camera, take the plastic off and everything, and see more about it. And then I'll do <clears throat> another video talking about what the difference of the one they released a long time ago in this one. Okay, got the terrible covers. They should have make a knife. They should have made them this way. They gave me a piece of paper too. And then I throw the DVD across the room. <laughs> okay, this don't really tell me much about it, but it's in good shape. Because sometimes you get these things scratched up. So that was Chuck Norris, our first video. <clears throat> now we got a whole pack of these videos. I think we only got five. Our first video is Defense Zones, two movie five specials. <laughs> and this is all Defense Zone movies and specials that they did from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and the 2000s. And this one, if you want to see the man called Fence Zone uncut, this is what you have to buy to watch it uncut. Are you yeah, if you yeah, right here. This is the this is the cut version. This is the uh, I think I got I mean, think of the mouth over here. Okay, this is the cut version, and this is the uncut version. So if you want to see it uncut the way it was when you were a little kid in the sixties, you buy this one. Now I got both versions. I'll probably just donate this one if if I don't if I don't need an uncut version. I'll cut for extra sick. Let's open it and see what it looks like inside. Now, and, and, and you see, I got a little code to my throat. I'm sorry that my voice is going in and out. So it's not, it's not the sound, it's just me. Trying not to cough. And trying to cough as good as I can. And like I said in the comment section, I might keep doing this until I can't talk anymore. Then I have to stop for a while. Okay, so it looks like this. This is DVDs. And like I said, I don't care if it's a DVD or Blu-ray. And I think these should be in good shape. Yeah, this one is. No scratches or nothing.
and this one. Same thing, clean as can be. If you look hard enough, you can see the back side of this of where I'm sitting at. Okay, our next one is Telefont. Now Telefont is a Charm Bronson movie about killing people over the telephone. And you got Donald President in here too. And Lee Remick. And Patrick McGee. So you got you got the Avenger guy, John Bronson. You got Damien Mother from the Omens. Oh, you got Ty Daly in here too. Now, I think Ty Daly is from uh, Cagney. Unless this is the same, unless this is the guy from Wings, so I'm not too sure. <laughs> Now let's see what it looks like inside. That's why if you notice that I'm reading it kind of crazy, it's because I'm kind of holding my coughs and we're trying to read books and stuff. This is a DVD. It's in that on blue wear or not. Okay, those VCR tapes, but now I'm Blu-ray. Looks like this. And I got almost every movie of Charm Bronson, so this is just another collection. Then we got Samson in the in the Seven Miracles of the World. Another Muscle Man collection. Now this one, you got both. You got the uncut and you got the cut version. And you got commentary too. This is gonna be fun. Cause I, I like these kind of movies. Cause when I was little, you used to be able to watch these on TV back in the 80s, late at night. With the kind of food films and all that. Now I know these things came out a long time ago, but I got them real cheap, so I was able to buy them later. It's another KL Studio classic. It looks like this. This is a DVD. They got this on Blu-ray. I just don't need the Blu-ray copy if it's cheaper getting it on DVD. We got The Son of Samson. Another Muscle Man collection. Now, this is just the original. This is, n this is not uncut, I don't think. So however it was when they were... Made in America, that's a cut we got. I know it's hard finding these movies anywhere, so get them while you can get them. And get them while they're cheap, because they cost me like 14 bucks for the two of them. Oh, 14 bucks each? That's cheap to, than the, when they first came out, 19 bucks. And another one. And I'm guessing the blue, I'm guessing the DVD is fine. <laughs> now we got our last movie to look at. We got a saw on a queen. You got Frank Sinatra and Tony Franco. Oh, remember that poor guy's name? So you got a singer and an actor. And this is about crooks trying to sell or trying to steal stuff from a, from a cruise ship. And this is Frankie's first film that he did without the Rat Pack. This is 1966. So he, so this is the beginning of his of his solo career. He did a lot with the Rat Pack from the beginning. He did some movie by himself in the 40s. Let's see what this thing looks like. And this is a DVD also. And this is the last of the of the movies for the time being. Okay, came in a little booklet. So you can buy some more movies from this company. And I won't go back in on that. And it looks like this. 
Yeah, that one's kind of hard to see it. So that's for the movies. Now let's go into the channel stuff. Let's open this one. This is for the channel. I just don't know what it is. And it's more. Are this my this ear for the channel or something even special that I've been waiting for for the longest? Let's see what the thing is. Ear or don't be nice. You just don't see it no more until after this one time. Okay, maybe the thing for the channel. Okay. The DVD. <laughs> yeah, Blu ray. <laughs> this is the Thomas Crown Affair from 1967 or 68. Okay. I thought this was a. I didn't know what the thing was. Okay, this is not for the channel. And I got these all from Amazon. So you can get these off of Amazon the same way I did. Might get them even cheaper than them when I got them. Now, this one, you get all the commentaries and all the good bonus stuff. There you go. I'm glad they don't use that sticky stuff on the top anymore the way they used to do. Another KL class, so studio classic. I like this. This is a, this is a Blu-ray. Now, this is the last of the movies. I can open this thing. This is for the channel, I'm hoping. I said that last time, it's one for the channel. I want to duct tape this thing a little bit. Yeah, if they keep putting, they keep double taping, the, it makes it hard for me to open. There we go. They don't want to break the record either. Okay, we got another Raggedy Ann and Andy adventure mm-hmm. called Raggedy Ann and Andy Book of Manners from 19. Oh, maybe, maybe we don't got this record. Because this thing is cracked. And I don't think there's no way I can play this. Okay, so we got a crack record. What I'll do is I'll report it back to the owner and get my money back, and then we'll find another copy. So. And if I can, unless it will play, if I, if I can play Broken, we'll hear it. If I can't, we'll get a new copy. But this is from 1981. And I'll give you a sneak preview, even so we might not be able to play it ever. So it's like this. And if you have seen this, the last book I did, He's a new character to me because this is the second time I get to see him. So that's a good one. In our last unboxing, ah, this package. Now, these, these feel like books, so you might be reading stuff. I've got a lot of reasons to go through these first things. These are, these are easy to get out. So we got, I'm going to do them this way. We got Bambi Grown Up from 19, 1979. So we got a new Bambi book to read. Then our next one is Our Hero Skimp. Another scampy collection. And this one, he's brown. He's not gray like, like the other one. And this is from... A good question.
That thing got no year on it. Hmm. Oh, here we go. I think it's stuck together. Oh, right, here we go. Here's the year. This came out in 2004. So this is a 2004 book. So this will be interesting. Then we got this one. Dumbo the Flying Elephant. Now I hope I don't got this one, but if I do, we'll have, we'll have two of these things. This is it from 1978. And it's like the first Dumbo book. It looks like this. Then we got Robin Hood. Uh, Robin Hood Spin Gold. Another adventure. From 1979. Now I wonder if any... If any of you ever had these books back in the days, were any of you part of this Mickey Mouse, this this Disney Club? I know I was never a part of the Disney Club collection. I'm just being a part of it now because people are selling their copies. This is Toad, no, Todd and Faxi from the Fox and the Hound. So this is the third book of the Fox and the Hound collection. Now we've got all three of them. This is from 1981. So this will be interesting, seeing the fox and the hound. Now we've got these three books in here. Okay, we got the fox and the hound, the ridden, the ridden oak. Boy, this is going to be interesting. Looks like this. And I think it is from 1981 also, because that's when the movie came out. 1981. Yep, this is 1981. Then we got, boy, these things are big. We got Dumbo. And I don't know why these books are huge. Even when the book came out. No year, the first. Too much more. Everything got a year. I said these books. Oh, here we go. Came out in 1986. That's why these books are big. This is a 1986 book. Look how big this thing is. Here's some pictures. And they made a handful of these books. Look at these things. They made about two, four, six, eight. 10, 11. I mean, 11 of these books. And we got two of them. Here's another one. Bambi. We've been playing all kinds of Bambi adventures. This is the first Bambi. And this is from, let's see, 1989. It looks like this. So all we got today was, it's going to be fun trying to hold these things up. I don't want to drop any sense. It's too late. So we got this. This. All these movies for for the for the unlock on the unopened for. So do like this if we have it in the camera. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.